the largest Somali community in the United States is here in Minnesota, especially in the Twin Cities and this metro area. We are part of the community as American citizens, and we, feel, we were feeling like we didn't get our full rights yet because part of our full rights is the Adhan, of the Salah, our prayer. These are the covers so always, you know, when we have rain in and then we come up, you know, just... That one up there is... The senior, 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 senior high rise, yeah. The tall one. This one is kind of really facing them. So they can hear from here, there, so they hear it. Adan is in Arabic, linguistically it means uh, announcing publicly to everyone that the time of the prayer has come. So Adan basically means letting everybody know that the next prayer is about to come. Calling the Adan out loud, it me really means a lot to us, especially in our community in South Minneapolis. So the city has approved, but for us as a mosque, we would like to actually uh, buy new systems and sound systems. And the process would be also like to inform the neighborhood, engage with them and inform them about the decision so that we actually want to do the, the Adhan in public. And we hope that through calling the Adhan public, it would actually bring more interest from the neighbors in knowing about the religion of Islam. We know we have Somali neighbors, and they're increasing in number in ways that we may not have noticed five or two years ago. And I've seen it, I went to a community party the other day and there were Somali families, there were Haitian families, Latino families, all gathered. And I gave a prayer, the Somali mother gave a prayer in Arabic, and they didn't know each other's language, but they knew that they were there for a common commitment to their community. Because when we're from the country Somalia, the people was hearing the Aran loudly. Even if you are uh, sleeping, you can hear it, then you can wake up. I know that it's a little bit complicated because of the society and all of these things, but I hope that it's going to be, you know, reconsider it and the people understand it and then become so little loudly that I can hear it. <laughs>